there I am flown into Orlando, Florida, just a, three or four months ago, to the World Golf Summit. There I am with my little cowboy hat and just dressed like I always am with an old pair of cowboy boots and dirty blue jeans. And I walk in and here's all these people in polo shirts and all the golf stuff and everything. And they came up to me in the most profusely apologetic way and said, um, the president of Tyler um, feels really badly that uh, they've canceled you as a speaker here at the event. And I said, no, 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 that's okay, that's all right. Not really, but that's what I said, <laughs> you know. And then they came back about 15 minutes later and said, listen, they want to announce that once it's over on this first day, that we're going to have another speaker. And if they just want to hang around for about 20, 30 minutes, you'll go ahead and do a presentation for those who want to hang around. And I said, yeah, I'll do that. Not a problem. And so I got up and I just went after it. I just got into it. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. And these people were like talking to each other and they started asking questions. I was only supposed to have 25 minutes. And so I kind of cut it off, got ready to leave, and the people rebelled. They said, no, 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 you stay, you keep going. Finally, three hours later, I just said, I'm leaving. And they all kind of laughed and got up and gave me a, a standing ovation. I walk out. The next day, they said, listen, uh, words kind of got back to us that people are really liking what you have to say. They said, would you mind sitting in on a panel of experts? for questions from the audience that's going to be live TV on the Golf Channel. And I said, well, sure, I would love to do that. <laughs> they got me sitting down on the very end, and I'm sitting there, and they opened this thing up, they threw it open to questions into the audience, and this one guy stands up, and he says, I would like the people to comment on how they feel about sugar in the diet. Three guys over from me, Raises his hand, interrupts, and says, <clears throat> I think I'm the one that should probably answer that. And so they bring down a microphone to him, and he takes it, and he introduces himself as Dr. So-and-so with a doctorate in nutrition. And this is what came out of this guy's mouth. It is so sad that people in the United States and even around the world don't understand sugar. They don't understand one orange has almost 20 teaspoons of sugar. A Coca-Cola, on the other hand, doesn't have one gram of sugar. I teach all of my patients to drink soda pop and stay away from fruit. <laughs> and so the people that were there the night before said, go on the cowboy. <laughs> And so I just said, you know, it's interesting to me. But there's something that we probably need to understand about what we call sugars. Sugar is sugar is sugar is a false notion. It's just not reality. It's not true. And then I explained, like, for instance, how they make synthetic sweeteners. Most people don't know that aspartame and Splenda and Equal and all that stuff is made from white processed sugar crystals put in a stainless steel vat that they pour chlorine bleach in. And then they put it in solution, then they evaporate it, and it causes the chlorine to bond in the carbon chain construct of the sucrose and uptake it, which makes it about 100 times sweeter and supposedly void of calories. The problem with processed sugars and synthetic sweeteners is that they cross the blood-brain barrier so fast because the size of the molecule is so tiny and fractured that it causes the pancreas to set off the production of insulin, not glucagon. You eat an orange, the molecules of the sugar in there are so large they cross the blood-brain barrier very, very slowly. The message from the brain to the pancreas is, life is good, don't pump out insulin, don't lay down layers of fat, we're not in danger here, pump out glucagon. Glucagon in the bloodstream actually energizes you. And so instead of having a synthetic hit of energy and then 
bombing and then having to have another hit and bomb, which burns out the adrenals and messes up the pancreas over time and distance, fruit and food sugars actually energize you and maintain you. And I said, so people who tell their patients to drink soda pop is actually poisoning them. <laughs> teaching the basics, the thing that everyone should know and we tend to forget now and again and it just feels really good to be reminded that our own health and our own memory can be triggered just by something so basic. Just all those great little bits of information that no one, no one tells you about. So uh, yeah, don't go to school. <laughs> go to Don's school.